the Oceanic Rocket League for 21-22. And Jake, is it possible here for 3-1-2s to rise to the occasion? I mean, it's always possible, Yummy. They're certainly a team on the rise, but Pioneers also, like you were saying, having a real breakout performance for them, winning their first regional, running off the back of that as well. Ooh. So hopefully both teams looking on the up, but it's mock to open the scoring. And that that's really interesting. That's kind of more than what Mock would have even expected to get out of this. Super Lucky not able to get the save, but Mock was the one. For how long they can go for. So see if Pioneers can recover. I think they will. Oh, it's cross power and out. And this is a, a, a small problem. I could foresee Pioneers having a little bit of an issue in terms of not being warmed up, but they won't matter. They get a pass across, they keep it simple, and Super Lucky scores. 3-1-2 yeah, is an utter panic that whole time. Super Lucky missing that top corner shot, but he follows up. The rotations were there. Pioneers get a quick equalizer. Impressive as well for that pass to come off so softly because there's a good chance you just flick that way above. Yes, yes, because yeah, Banana Head last regional was just brutal from that corner, just absolutely outplaying everyone and feeding his teammates. Well, Banana Head has historically been that kind of playmaker for Pioneers and uh, top goal scorer as well. Did switch up when it gets to the major, but it won't switch up here. Scrub, though, gets on the board with Super Lucky setting him up. And we said Scrub looked a little shaky himself, but very confident here, massive dunk from him and 3 one is unable to handle the offense Pioneers are bringing. I've always felt that's when Pioneers look their best, when Scrub is moving super, just a, a one-off. Yeah, and a few double commits coming out here and there, but overall, very solid with the pressure. That's a good demo, but Mock not able to outplay the rushing defender, but it does look like they're finally out of their half, and we'll see what 3 one twos have their offense. And Pioneers, they're, they're kind of okay with going for the double commits most of the time. And, well, a double commit is much better than a zero commit. What a pass from Banana Head getting an insane musty flick double touch. I wish he scored that. That would be incredible, but still highlight in its own right. Scrub trusting him the whole way to get the goal. That was what was powerful about Pioneers. It was usually Banana Head, a flip reset, a musty, something like that in the midfield. They were taking players out of the play, and you saw what it did to 3-1-2s. Very scared to go for that one. Pioneers now in a huge advantage. Oh. This should be another one for Scrub. Goal number four. This is dominant. One of these assists coming out of Pioneers. Super lucky. <laughs> Insane <laughs> flip reset pass. I'm not sure he knew what he was doing there, but Scrub again. So much trust in his teammates to follow up. It, it got to the point. Pioneers looking in great form to... And looking further into the tournament, try and back up their win from last region. And most notably, it's important for them to get through in the upper bracket because then they'll have a, a, a much more safety net. I think they'll be comfortable with an extra life on their line, even if they have to verse Renegades in the upper bracket, who is who they're mostly versing for that land and major. And uh, the way they're playing right now, it seems almost a shoe in that they'll be in that match. Yeah, flip reset. After flip reset coming out from these guys, and 3-1-2s have just got absolutely stomped. You talked about Mock being super fast, and he hasn't been able to pace anyone to the ball just yet. Uh, and Sprat's been incredibly quiet in this game, so I think we'll, we'll be hitting the drawing board even just after game one for 3-1-2s. Yeah, I think they've, they've all been pretty quiet, though, honestly. They just have not been able to set up any kind of defense. I mean... Just easy for Super, super Lucky here, just Pioneers, quick counter-attack, no one home, everyone panicking, and mm. Pioneers get another one. There's been so many times here with 3 one twos and not expecting Pioneers to just be worst possible start against this team. Yeah, I mean, they've certainly, like you're saying, giving Pioneers plenty of confidence, plenty to be excited about. Consolation goal goes to Mock, he's going to get two for this game. It's a nice counter-attack from them, so... Showing that they're going to keep their eye on that offense, but it's certainly the defense they need to fix. And that's one of the best things that you can do against Pioneers. Mock rushing up to the other end of the pitch, and if Pioneers have a member close to the net, they're so good mechanically in defense, they'll make, normally make the save. So able to get it before they do. However, it's certainly the defense they need to fix. And that's one of the best things that you can do against Pioneers. Mock rushing up to the other end of the pitch, and... If Pioneers have a member close to the net, 
They're so good mechanically in defense, they'll make, normally make the save. About getting stuck in the tar pit again. You can see Mock is up for that, but he's going to have to try and look for the pass, and he does. He actually reaches Siki, but just a quick play and attempted counterattack. Yeah, staying nil all at the moment, but certainly 3 1 2 is far better yeah. after this timeout, but oh, tragic for them. Banana Head making the most of that situation. Yeah, it was Siki bumped into the ball. Mock had already gone. Oh, this is past Siki. I'm going to go clean this one up. Uh, I'm so very surprised by that bump. Yeah, I mean, you can't predict that. They're still looking like they have these chances, especially on the counterattacks where Pioneers maybe get a little too confident. Like you can see here, a double commit doesn't work out. Siki gets a bit of a chance, forces an awkward touch, but the Pioneers player is up for it. Uh, there's been so many just shots at net coming out for 3-1-2s. It's kind of why you even say uh, they need to get a goal off the counterattack because they're not going to threaten a defense like the Pioneers with anything else and Strub. It's going to be Pioneers instead scoring off the counter-attack. Yeah, it's not looking too good. 3-1-2 is again just not ready to respond. Yes, to open up that net. They're going to still need kind of two players with any play to score. Yeah, definitely on the money there, Yummy. There's no passing happening. They're not even really looking for it at all. 3-1-2 is playing very much in a straight line and then on defense just not awake to defend these goals. Yeah, not expecting these high backboards. Sprat caught running back to his net more than being on that back post. So a bit of a a bit of a rush rotation more than anything else. Even still, Sprat no right now. It's a battle of attrition and well every member of Pioneers is pretty much going to out mechanics everybody from 3-1-2s so scrub scores another you gotta hope that for 3-1-2s they start thinking more about the team game about the types of ways that kdot would win this series rather than how alpha 54 would do so working as a team challenging early being in the right position shutting down your opponents rather than what you can do for yourself I think just playing up to the level as well. It's just no respect, playing fast, take it to them. They're not showing respect to the mechanics or the speed of Pioneers, mm -hmm. and it's costing them goals. And this might be uh, the experience of 3-1-2s throughout this split. They haven't had too many opportunities. Something very different here for the 3-1-2s. Yeah, so what will they bring, though? No timeouts left remaining. And, I mean, it felt like... Felt like they used their timeout effectively. They, they certainly fixed the massive onslaught of calls that was happening, but there's still just such a skill what gap happening at the moment. Banana had a great solo play all the way from his end here. Uh, this was off the kickoff, but you think about it. You, you, Banana Head has been incredibly fruitful scoring goals when he has a lot of space from his own end. And he does it again. It, all, it, all it really took was a quick... The, the poise to go for it. It's a difficult one to pull off, but to do that after a flip reset, I, I think Banana Head's the only real player you'll see that coming out of. I, I think it's also incredibly interesting because in event one, there was a lot of those plays coming out from Super Locky and Banana Head in particular, and yet they weren't finding that success. Here we go, Sprats. A bump play is what we need. We needed Mock to be pushing forward again. And that is huge. Bump, demo, bump, and opened up for Sprat. Yeah, great play from them. Pioneers, they, they've had great defense. They've been rotating back quickly. And like you said, Yami, they haven't really been bringing... 3-1-2s looking equally confused with how to keep the pressure on. Ooh, Mock is just constantly circling around the back half of Pioneers. And in that case, almost came out of the blind spot. But speaking of, scrub out of the blind spot for 3-1-2s. And he will secure the game and match point. It's just like game game one and two, especially game one. It's Scrub trusting his teammates so much. Super Locky going for the demo mid-air. Maybe comms there, maybe not, but either way, great synergy from those two to get a crucial goal. They're 3-0 up now, putting themselves in a great position to win this series. Mad. From a goal there. And I mean, they have been improving throughout the series. So if you're going to be optimistic of any game, it would be this one for the 3-1-2s. It's a sign that had they played this way since game one, then they would have had a very good chance and Siggy's going to find the net early. This is what he's known for. Strong striking ability in the uh, top corner. Yeah, great pass from Sprat, setting him up perfectly. And Banana Head, he was even back, but not back quick enough. So 3-1-2s, they have the lead now. Let's see if they can hold on to it. 
1-0. And the first real... ...to dominant. We're actually seeing Pioneers. Still looking very aggressive, though. Willing to pre-jump. And wanting to end this series out strong. They haven't had to adjust a thing. They know that if they just make a big play, they go for that solo play, they will just be scoring goals. And that is a very smart play from Super Lucky. Yeah, I mean, it was an awesome dunk from Banana Head. Siki put in an impossible spot. And what a beautiful chip from Super Lucky. Somehow keeping it under the crossbar mm. and making 3 1 2s look a bit silly. Yeah. At their best for this final regional. Great play again from Banana Head in the midfield. And it may even lead to a goal, except for Mock being able to come out of net to keep it. Another demo, another open net. Pioneers, they are all over three one twos. Again, now we add demo goals to the list. Scrub punishing, Super Locky sees the play, sees the chance to get another goal on the board. Beautifully done by them. Pioneers, again, they want to go back to London. Uh, ever since they heard the announcement in London while they were out in front of it. Oh! oh! Could have got further underneath that one. Pioneers reading the defense well enough. Yeah, they slowed the play down, which I thought was surprising, but it worked out. No goal, though. Pioneers, the defense holds strong, <laughs> but Siki all by himself. Flip reset into dunk. Cleans it up. He flip reset in order to get the 50 on the first and manages to land on the second. Surprising that he's able to dunk that over the top of him and into the net still. Yeah, maybe a little fortunate there for Siki, but certainly making his own luck there with an excellent solid. Which is to land on the second. Surprising that he's able to dunk that over the top of him and into the net still. Yeah, maybe a little fortunate there for Siki, but certainly making his own luck there with an excellent solid play and keeping his team in the series. Not for long. For a Not little for long. bit. The kickoff is again going the way of Pioneers. Great read from Super Locky. This ball is going fast, and everybody from 3 1 2 scattered, but not Scrub. Scrub, uh, if Scrub saw what was going on and chased down the net. Yeah, very smart play from Scrub there. Put Siki in such a difficult spot. Siki tried to dodge it, but Scrub as well didn't rush in for the demo, just kept his time and was happy with a bump. Bumps have been very successful for Pioneers at times. They bring them they bring them out for certain series and not others, or they bring them out for certain games and not others. And we've seen, especially in that last event, how that makes them unpredictable. But 3-1-2s, this is the highest scoring affair that they've been able to make. Yeah, the defense isn't quite as on point as it has been. Pioneers caught sleeping. Mock getting an important goal there takes the shot and that'll go straight over to Spratt. What a miss from Banana Head. Could have been a goal if the player was able to read it. Actually, 3-1-2 is going to get the chance. The flip reset shot. The oh. block doesn't work out, but the dribble does. Siki on zero seconds gets the goal. And the comeback might have started here. Not often you see that. that Pioneers are getting scored on in zero seconds instead of the other way around. And Siki playing that incredibly brilliantly with that uh, that first touch, a slow one. Normally on that zero second mark, everybody's expecting. Might have started here. Not often you see that, that Pioneers are getting scored on in zero seconds instead of the other way around. And Siki playing that incredibly brilliantly with that uh, that first touch, a slow one. Normally on that Z Ed, to do that four games in a row. Yeah. Well, get, getting a ass. one goal win on zero seconds is not a decisive enough victory to, to show that a best of seven reverse sweep is on the cards. That being said, this could be the game that determines that. It's not going to help that Super Lucky will score the first. Yeah, Super Lucky continuing good aggressive shit series. He's been showing great angle from him, playing very fast to get that goal. That's the, about the third or fourth kickoff goal that Pioneers have scored as well, which uh, overall, but now it is a very tough battle for 3-1-2s. Siki is continually slowing this ball down and we're trying to catch the Pioneers' defense off guard, but this is awkward. Siki has to get a touch over to the corner. This is usually where Banana Head likes it anyway. He's got it around oh. one, beating oh. down the second. <laughs> Banana Head has taken out two and gets the goal for his efforts. I mean, you saw it coming, I mean, I'm not sure if you did, but I mean, Banana Head, crazy goal, just 
no one else in OCE does that, and 3 one twos are just not ready for it. I didn't have to see an ears to miss anything on their own backboard, even when they're in an awkward position on the ground, diving up backwards for it, which has a twofold. Obviously, it's very difficult to attack their backboard, but also it means they are scary when they're up there. Sprat's demo on the third man has also opened up the net. Yeah, great play from them. Mock leaving it for Sprat as well. So truly all Sprat there to get that goal and keep this game from running away from them. Demos have been key for three one twos. And that kind of demo on the way back to defense is always that deadly one because third man uh, really sends them reeling. Yeah, but Pioneers forward now, looking more aggressive, looking for more goals. I'm sure they're certainly still thinking about those first few games, just how much fun they had scoring everything. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. A big dunk in the midfield. Super Locky. So aggressive and ready for this. Let, let's not watch what Suki did at all <laughs> and just appreciate that it was a good backboard pass. Great backboard pass. Nothing went wrong. Super uh, Siki looking a little bit awkward in net, but that is what Pied. No, speaking of the mistake, it's going to be a counter attack opportunities from Banana Head. Always dangerous with some time on the ball. Scrub hits the backboard. Wanted that to get a bit further out towards his waiting Super Lucky, Ooh. but out of nowhere, Scrub gets a lot of power. Yeah, Scrub from the corner just jumps oh. up. Great reflexes from him to find. The perfect flip as well. I think he needed that diagonal Jay. backwards one and he gets it. Did we ever have that kind of reaction time? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course not. Just get this win. Sprat does get it past one. 40 seconds. Maybe a little bit of a chance to get back in as unlikely as it seems against the Pioneers for this comeback to happen. And there should be a goal here as Siki is gifted an open net. Great pass out from the defense straight to their opponents. Yeah, I'm not too sure what Pioneers Whoopsies. are doing here. They've been, <laughs> they've been playing like they're 10 goals up with five seconds remaining for the past minute. So, two goal lead. I think, I think that'll wake Pioneers up. And like we've been seeing, that their kickoff is certainly what they need. Try and get a great placing here. One above Renegades. Big one here. Now pressure is on Renegades. They have that power matchup coming next. And if they drop down, It'll be very difficult for them. <laughs> Banana Head 